the sun made an appearance just in time as students from Northwood schools celebrated a new beginning as the district prepares to receive new power from its newly installed 296 kilowatt solar array. There is no cost to the district other than purchasing the electricity from a different source at a lower price. The solar array, which consists of 714 panels manufactured in Georgia, was designed and installed by Gem Energy, a member of the Rudolph Libby Group. They went and found an investment group, Madison Investments, that came in and they paid for it. They technically own it. The school purchases that power from them at a much lower rate. Northwood School Superintendent Jason Cozina says the solar array will power 30 to 40 percent of the school, which opened in 2017 and houses grades pre-K through 12. I believe it will save anywhere from 5 to 6 percent of our electrical costs short term. And as electrical rates increase, the long term payoff could be even better. The new solar array will not only be used to help power the school, but also the data that these panels will be collecting will be used inside the school for education. We can check, you know, how much usage of the solar arrays is going on during the day. We can check and see um, whether one of the panels is working or not working. We can see how much electricity is being used by the school. So all of those things, the students can be collecting that data which is an essential part of science. Fifth grade student Riley Tucker knows a thing or two about solar panels. Her mom works at a factory that makes them. Uh, my mom makes them, and um, so I get to go inside her um, company and like learn about them even more. They can track the sun so the electric bills don't go up all the way. In Northwood, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.